Hey guys, Kid Gear here coming with a uh, overview today and a tutorial on how to get the new Firefox 4. So this is showing you a quick overview of Firefox 4 and of course uh, you can get it from this link right here if you go to Mozilla.com and I'll leave a link to that in the uh, underbar of the video description. And I know in a while it's been a while, or it's been a while since I've done a actual screencasting tutorial. I'm going to start getting more of these out especially since, since it's summertime. So I apologize for the lack of uh, tutorials and you know software overview. Now, Firefox 4 is currently only available for Windows, uh, I believe, Windows 7. They're working on the Linux and OS 10 release. I believe it's coming out, or it is. It may be already out, but some of the features are lacking in terms of, you know, Windows 7, and I believe even Vista are getting more of the features as of current. Um, so you can go to the site, and you can see, uh, say, thank you for becoming a Firefox beta tester. This is after you download the actual 4 beta. Now, you can download the 4 beta separate from the 3.6 install. So if you already have the Firefox 3.6 final, you can install the separate from 4, Though, um, one of the cons that I've seen, again, you're a beta tester, so you're going to expect some bugs. Uh, it does kind of interflict with your current install. So let's say you're on Firefox 4 beta. If you uninstall add-ons, um, like it's going to port all your add-ons and all your themes from 3.6, which can be a little bit annoying because it can screw up your, um, your theme on 4.0. So what you have to do is you have to go into the toolbar... Um, and go into your add-ons and then disable the ones that are even if they're not disabled you know already disable them or if it's uh, doesn't work I'll say you know incompatible with Firefox 4.0 um, and if you have your default theme from 3.6 that might mess up the actual you know interface again right click or you know go into your menu bar and uh, revert back to the default theme I would probably recommend doing that if you're or recommend reverting to the default theme on 3.6 before you upgrade to 4.0 beta anyways um, once you get the 4.0 beta, obviously, like I said, your add-ons will probably be disabled. They won't be in, uh, they'll be incompatible, and um, you know you'll get that little intertwining with the 3. Point, or your latest build of Firefox uh, and the beta. Though, um, as you can see here, the beta has mainly what they're aiming for right here is the new look, the new UI. And in, in 4.0, what they tried to do, uh, which uh, you know a lot of themes, uh, like my old theme used to do for my 3.6 beta, is basically give you a lot more browsing real estate. As you can see here, uh, I know that my window is kind of congested because I'm recording in 1280 by 720 but there's a lot more browsing space compared to the old Firefox. You have a feedback button here obviously which you know you can use for feedback for the new uh, 4.0 beta and of course you have your, oh, sorry, your traditional buttons like the down arrow here. You have your tabs are now on the top as you can see kind of if you have you know used to that Google Chrome type feel um, that's exactly how it is. You can drag window, uh, tabs out, of course, and uh, if you want to uh, drag a tab back in, you would simply just you know drag it back into the browser. Uh, so tabs are on top, so you're getting used to that little feel. Um, the Firefox button pretty much controls everything uh, that you need to you know use, basically like print, save page as, find on this page, history, customize, um, options, etc. And you, of course you can enable all the other toolbars if you like, and uh, you know go into your options menu from here. So yeah, you can mess around with that. Um, now, if you want to see your traditional file, edit, view, history, bookmarks, tools, and help, uh, you can hit the Alt key. Now, uh, if you again, if you had a problem, uh, for example, when I came in, I didn't have this Firefox button in the 4.0, and the reason was because I had my menu bar enabled. And if you have your menu bar enabled, you'll just have this. If your Firefox 4 looks like this, simply dis right click on right here and disable menu bar. And you'll get the far, uh, the Firefox button, and with that, you just hit Alt to see your you know traditional file edit, view, history, bookmarks, etc. So they try to give you a really minimalist view in Firefox 4, and basically give you a lot of your browsing real estate back. You have two toolbars here. You of course have your uh, you know back, forward, refresh, home button, your traditional address bar. You can have the Google search bar there if you want that, but I take that out. Uh, that's just something really nice. I'm gonna go into new features here just to show you what else they include here. Uh, you know, basically the feature spotlight. They of course have um, pioneering uh, HTML5 uh, web standards, and they also support a new WebM format, so you can watch uh, open HD quality video. Uh, they are aimed to protect your privacy. Basically, you know, they put privacy first, fixing flaws in some of the web standards that allowed bad guys to snoop around uh, and explore your browser history. Uh, they also did some other things under the hood to uh, make your browsing more secure. Um, uh, stuff like web sockets. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, HTML5 support, like I said, styling with CSS3, web console, a lot of, you know, under the stuff, under the hood uh, type upgrades to make Firefox more secure and faster, of course. Jetpack is another thing, which is making add-on development easier for you add-on developers out there. And coming soon, they're going to be working on sync, 
Uh, basically, you see a lot of this stuff happening in uh, what call that? Uh, Google Chrome and browsers like that. But they had a previous thing where they were working on this with, uh, I believe it was called Mozilla Weave. Uh, basically, they synchronize all your settings across multiple browsers wherever you go and whatever machine. New privacy controls, faster, 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 and of course, OS X and or OS X, I should say, and Linux themes coming soon. The add-on manager, as you can see here, is a whole new uh, display of uh, you know, looking at your add-ons. You can go through the themes, you can go through your plugins, extensions, like I said, or add-ons, and you can get add-ons from right here. And uh, so yeah, and I, you can see that add-ons for 4.0 aren't coming out real, you know, uh, just because the beta was just released and a lot of them are unstable. Um, but with that, um, another new feature that they added, for example, you can now search if you have multiple tabs open, you can search within your tabs. Now, this is a pretty useful if you're a heavy tab user. For example, if I want to go to google.com, but I already knew I had that tab open somewhere, I can type in Google, or maybe I should use it with a Firefox for beta. I'll say Firefox for beta, and I'll see that I already have that tab open. So I can simply, instead of going through my web history, I can go here and hit switch to tab. Now this is really useful if you have multiple blogs open, you know, just go to some of these sites. Um, you can see that, you know, you have all these stuff open. Now, you know, you may forget that you already have that tab open, or you may know it's there, you just can't, you know, really find it. So I can just really quick switch the tab. I know you can, of course, click over there, but sometimes, you know, tabs just get really clogged up. And a search within tab feature is really, really useful. And with that, guys, that's basically 4.0. The new interface, it's uh, relatively quick. You know, uh, the final, you know, uh, tweaks haven't been made as of current. But 4.0 is really nice. I like the interface. Uh, it's pretty stable. I haven't had too many issues watching videos and stuff like that. I like the new interface a lot, though. So can't wait till it comes out. Show you where you can download it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the overview. And uh, hope you guys enjoy your Firefox 4. With that, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, you know, let me know what browser you guys are using. In the you know, leave your feedback. What browser are you guys on? Google, Chrome, Firefox, Safari users. Uh, let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next video.